I come from a very small town, and I went to Salt Lake City with my father. Uh, I was getting my eyes examined in Dr. Palmer's office. This guy comes in, sits down next to me, and has one of these has one of these bow ties on. And I kept looking at it, looking at it, and say, "Gee, what is that thing?" He showed me. He uh, untied it. I thought, you know, that is really cool. I can remember my first bow tie. Oh, it was very, it was very plain. You know, it was. It was, it was something I probably wouldn't even wear now. My first one was a black formal bow tie and not terribly cool. Now you can imagine being a kid from Vernal, Utah, which is a farming community, wearing a bow tie. I was, uh, I was truly the first nerd. When I worked for the Chief Justice in Washington, on days I was going to be with him, he didn't like me to wear a bow tie. For some reason, I think he thought I looked like a doofus, so, I, so I'd wear a long tie, and I only had one or two. Then when I came here, during my uh, first year as president of the university, uh, a couple of fellows came in and uh, faculty members and told me that I didn't look like a university president, so I decided I looked, uh, needed to look dignified, and uh, so I started wearing long ties and three-piece suits, and I was miserable. I missed my bow tie, and so I went back to wearing it. I say jokingly, but it's not so jokingly, you know, the reason I wear a bow tie is the fact it's much more difficult to hang me uh, if you're a faculty member with a bow tie than with a long tie. I have over a thousand right here, then I have another thousand in retirement. I make them into uh, quilts for my granddaughters. I've got one beautiful one here that hangs in my office. I think that the great gift that we all have is the fact that we are individuals. And I think that all too often, I, and I say this particularly to our students here at the university, that many times they spend a lot of their energy trying to look and act like each other. Each of them are individuals. And you know, one of the great characteristics, I think, of the American psyche has always been that they have a habit of the heart, which to Tocqueville said they have this kind of sense of individuality. And I think that uh, the future of many of us is going to be celebrating that individuality. Surprisingly, and, and I say this with great affection, this is a very diverse place from when I was here the first time around. You know, three or six years ago, we were a land-grant institution, had a large regional draw, but now we have students from all over the world. And that is what makes it uncharacteristically fun and interesting and intellectually alive. I think that the more you have people who are not like you, but yet who value who you are, then we become a place that is really the kind of place you want to teach and learn at.